So this is lecture 16, B as in boy, the second video on lesson 16 in Algebra 2, Multiplication of Polynomials and the Division of Polynomials. We're going to um, stick with the Division of Polynomials in this lecture. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. There are a couple methods on the Division of Polynomials, but uh, the one that we're going to focus on today it has to do with long division. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. 16.3 says divide. And we're going to divide 2 plus 5x minus 2x squared plus 5x cubed by negative 4 plus x. All right, so when it says by, the by is what goes outside of the division sign. And this will go inside the division sign. But one of the things that we have to do first is we have to reorder these. We don't want this written that way. We always want it written variable first, constant, or number last. And we're going to put these in order as well. 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. All right, so when you're dividing, one thing has to happen. We have to have the x first with the highest exponent to the lowest. In this case, there's only one x, so it doesn't matter. And then these have to be arranged. This whole thing here has to be arranged so that we have an x cubed, x squared, x to the first, and then no x's. So 3, 2, 1, 0 x's. It must be arranged in that order. And it must go 3, 2, 1, 0. It can't skip. And we'll get into some of those that skip and what we do in that um, in a minute. So let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of that and just have that problem right there so that we're not confused by anything. And uh, we'll do this in green so you can watch what's going on here. All right, so here we go. First thing we do is we find out how many x's are in 5x cubed. So in other words, um, what this is going to look like is the 5 and the x will stay the same. We'll put that right here. But what happens is we go down 1. And that will always be the case because what we do is this and th this divided by this looks like this. Okay, so this is actually a 1. And when we divide that, we take the difference between the 3 and the 1. So we get 5x squared. 3 minus 1 is 2. That's where this number up here comes from. So... In order to actually divide, you don't have to be able to do all of that or know all of that. You just have to be able to take 5x and lower this 1. And it will always be, in this case, lowered 1. So 3 minus whatever this exponent is, is what will go up here. And the 5 and the x will stay the same. Okay, so then what we do is we multiply this 5x squared, just like regular division, times x to the first. So 5x squared times x to the first will give us 5x cubed. It will always give us whatever is above it, the exact same thing. If it doesn't give you the exact same thing, then you did something wrong. So 5x squared times um, x, x to the first would be 2 plus 1 gives you the 3. Then we multiply 5x squared times negative 4. So 5x squared times negative 4 is negative 20x squared. And it will always give you the same exponent. So this has got an x squared. This must have an x squared or you did something wrong. Okay. So once you do that, then we put our line... And then we put a subtract sign. Do not forget to put that subtraction sign there. Because now we're going to, find, we're going to subtract. 5x cubed minus 5x cubed gives us 0. So we can put a 0 there. 
And this is where it's important to remember to have that minus sign. Negative 2x squared minus negative 20x squared means that those become positive. A negative and a negative gives me a positive. So now I add negative 20 or negative 2x squared plus 20x squared gives us plus 18x squared. Now we bring down our 5x just like you do in regular division. Okay, we can erase that. We can get rid of that zero or just ignore that zero. It's not really going to be a part of it. Now we have to decide how many times x. We did x went into that this many times. Now, in regular division, we find out how many times x goes into 18x squared. So it's the exact same thing. x goes into 18x squared, positive 18 x 2 minus 1. So it's just plus 18x. If you would like to put a 1 up there, that's fine. Then we take 18x times x to the first. This times this will again give you the exact same thing here. So just like these two were the same. These two have to be the same. So that's a positive 18x squared. Now we're going to take 18x to the first times negative 4. And that's going to give me negative 72x. Line minus sign. These two will cancel. 5x minus negative 72 change those both to plus because they're both um, plus two negatives give you a positive. Add those together and we get 77x. Now we bring down the two. All right, we're going to do this again. x to the first goes into 77x to the first. And notice here what happens. 1 minus 1 is 0, so we don't have any x's. All we have is plus 77. Now we take 77 times x and get 77x to the first. Again, you have to get that. You don't have any option there. Or, you, I mean, you did something wrong if you got something else. And then 77 times negative 4 is going to give you negative 308. Subtract these and they go away. 2 minus negative 308, again, two negatives give you a positive. That gives you 310 there. And at this point, you are done. You have nothing else to bring down, you ran to the end of the list of numbers and variables. So that means when you get to this point, you're down. This, you're done. This becomes the remainder. Now, if you remember in old time math, when you had a remainder, you wrote it as 310, the remainder over that. Okay, so at this point, you are done. So for your final answer, for this problem, you get that. 5x squared plus 18x plus 77 plus 310 over x minus 4. So if you were to take this whole thing and multiply it by that, you would get for an answer this here. We're not going to do that. But uh, that's what you would get for an answer. And we'll do a couple of these so that you get this down. So let's go to another sheet and do 16.4. So 16.4 says divide negative 6 plus x cubed by negative 2 plus x. 
Okay, so again, we're going to switch things around, and we're going to put x minus 2 in front. So remember, you just switch those around and to make sure the sign goes with it. This does not become negative x plus 2. Okay, the sign positive goes with the x when we move it in front of the minus 2. Same thing happens here. All right, so this is what we have. Let's get some things out of the way here so that we have room. And one thing that you'll notice here is, like I said in the last one, we do not have um, x squared or an x in here. Remember I said this has to be 3, 2, 1, 0 x's. So what we have to do is we have to make a 3, 2, 1, 0 x's. So we have this. And what we're going to do is we're going to make 0x squared plus 0x minus 6. So these two here give us the 3, 2, 1, 0 x's. And notice, any number times 0 or any letter times 0 means it doesn't exist. It gives you 0. Same thing here. So these don't really add anything to the x cubed minus 6. They're just placeholders because they're actually adding 0 here and adding 0 here, which means it doesn't change what this is. It just changes what it looks like for now in order for us to actually do the division. So let's uh, do that division and I'm going to set this up. Let's get rid of that one and we will move this up and we'll do the, the division. Let's ignore that circle up there. So x goes into x cubed. Remember, 3, 3 minus 1. And that will give us x squared. So we multiply x squared times x and get x cubed. So we multiplied this times this and got x cubed. And like I said, these have to match exactly. Now we're going to take x squared times negative x, and we get negative 2x squared. And this will always, always happen. Your squares will be above and be below each other, just like we want, so that we can combine them. Put a line here, put a negative. These two will cancel. 0 minus negative 2x squared is the same as... adding. So 0 plus 2x squared is 2x squared. We bring down our 0x. Now we're going to take x and divide it into 2x squared. x goes into 2x squared. 2x because 2 minus the 1 is just a 1 here. Okay. So, And another thing that you'll notice is this is a 3, this is a 2. This is a 2, this is a 1. And so just some things, if you're confused and you're wondering, oh, what goes up there? If you just remember a couple of those tricks, this one will always be one lower than this. This one will be one lower than this. So now we're going to multiply 2x times x. And again, we must get what was above it. And now we're going to take 2x times minus 2, which is going to be minus 4x. And then we subtract. Those go away. These become positive. So 0 plus 4x is 4x. Bring down the minus 6. So now we take x into 4x. So this is a 1 and this is a 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So actually we just get plus 4. Now we're going to multiply 4 times x. And again, get exactly what's above it. And then we're going to multiply 4 times negative 2 and get negative 8. And remember the minus. Those go away. Negative 6 minus negative 8 is negative 6 plus 8, which is positive 2. So that's our remainder. We're done. We don't have anything to bring down. So we have, because this is a positive, we have a plus 2 over x minus 2 for our answer. Now, if this number down here that we got was a negative, this would be a minus 2 over x minus 2. Okay? 
So you'll get used to these. You will practice them. You will make mistakes. And you will keep practicing. Um, you will use this in intermediate algebra. If you take that, you will use it in college algebra a lot. So you need to get down to where you're pretty comfortable doing this. All right, so I'm going to put on a third video. And this third video is going to show you a shortcut for doing this division. You don't have to watch this third video if you don't want to, but if you want to learn a shortcut, and you will not be allowed to use the shortcut yet, but I want to make you familiar with it just so that when I introduce it later, you can at least be familiar with how it works. So I'm expecting you to do the division this way in the homework, but the shortcut is just an added video just to show you that there is another way of doing this that we'll be introducing later. So that will be Lesson 16, Part C.